So, another day and another GU10 LED spotlight. Uh, this time a 12 watt uh, CE ROHS, although the CE logo looks more like the China export logo to me than the certified for Europe one uh, because the C and the E are too far together. Now this one's failed. You can see in the front here uh, it's all gone a nasty brown colour. So if we take the thing off and the lens. Now what's happened is the LEDs have melted themselves into the lens at the front and um, the PCB tracks have actually come away off the PCB and are attached. So the solder didn't melt but um, the tracks came off the board. So let's have a look at the board. Uh, what have we got here? We've got <clears throat> brown patches. Let's lift this board out. Let's actually just pull it through. Right, well, I think I can see why this failed because if you look at the back of the disc, see the white thermal grease. This is the um, paste which has the properties of allowing heat to transfer from the back of the metal disc here onto the metal of the heat sink and then obviously dissipate into the main metal but you can see this was never applied properly and thoroughly there are large areas of the metalwork there that simply don't have any grease on them so this was just under greased and heat built up on this front plate and never get a, got a chance to flow into the heat sink it's a very big heat sink on this one so i mean it should be perfectly capable of dissipating the heat i mean there's a, there are a lot of there's a lot of power there. There are four 3 watt LEDs, hence the 12 watts. Um, but I think that was just bad assembly. Nothing inherently wrong with the design, probably. I mean, it probably does get hot and stay hot. But you can see that's just not been put together properly. And that's why it's failed. Let's just have a little bit of a look further in. Okay, so we've got a transformer based circuit there. Uh, doesn't appear that that's got hot. It's wrapped up in tape to uh, insulate it from the mains points at the bottom of the plastic receptacle there. But that all looks intact. So, I mean, inherently, I don't think this is an unsafe bulb. But and, and in fact, the way it failed wasn't unsafe. It didn't catch fire or anything. It just burnt the tracks off the board, disconnected itself, and that was the end of that. Um, so probably won't be buying bulbs from that particular seller again. Actually just as a follow up, it may not be very easy to see but on the back of the LEDs there's also thermal grease here because the LED has to be um, heat sinked down onto the circuit board. And you can see that this one the thermal grease covers most of the area. This one only about half but this one here, see the ring of thermal grease there, it's only covering about well, about a tenth of the area of that LED so that LED wasn't properly thermally connected to the board that it sits on and the board wasn't thermally connected to the heatsink so this lamp was going to fail one way or another and it did